In previous videos, if you've seen any of the ones I've done before, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of the space bar. That's where I hit the space bar and the pop-up menu appears. And you're going to see that I've customized mine heavily. Now, I have another video on how to do that customization. This one, I'm going to focus on how can I add in a row, we call it panels. Also, how can I assign a key in, a custom key in, and put the icon there? That's what we're going to learn today. So I'm going to come back here. This is the key in. I always recommend that you test out your key in, put it into the key in browser and make sure that it works. This is a very simple one. It's just going to activate the place smart line tool. The semicolon separates my commands. The next one is going to set the active color, the active weight, active line code. I could add to this, but this is simple enough. Now I'm just going to double click, shows up in my text editor. I'm going to right click and copy it. Now I've copied it to my Windows clipboard. Now I'm going to show you how I customize it. So I'm going to go to the open area on my ribbon, right click, go to customize ribbon. Obviously I've already customized my pop-up menu. So I'm going to go to admin and you're going to see interface in bold. That's because I've customized it. I'm going to expand that. I'm going to expand my pop-ups menu. Now, if you want to know how to do all of that, I'll put a link to the video. You can go and watch that. I'm going to expand this. Here you see all of the rows. We technically call them panels. So how do I add in a new row? I would at the very top select, just like you would a folder. I would select at the top and then I would come up here to this icon, new panel. And then I can call it whatever I want. I will call that just testing. Now then I can add icons below that and I can move it up and down on my list here. That's how we would create a new row or panel. I'm going to delete that. We don't need it. I'm going to go to my key in commands. Here's that first row or panel. And there's the one key in that I had there. Now this was from another video that allowed you to hide a single element. Great video. It was a short, you should check it out. So now I'm going to add in another button. So I'm going to select where I want to put it, just like you would file in a folder. I'm going to come up here. I can select the icon for new button, or I can also right click and go to new button there. Either one will work. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this one here. Now I'm going to give it a name. Now the name could be anything you want, but obviously this is going to be placing a smart line. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in the label to be placed smart line. Again, this is not the command. This is just a label. Now down below under properties, this is where I'm going to assign the key in. I'm going to remove null and I've copied the key in that I want. I'm going to paste that. Below that is the icon. Now, Microsoft just gives it a wrench icon because it doesn't know what you're doing. You need to change this or you not, your choice. I'm going to click on the three dots here. Give it a moment. This is going to open a dialogue listing out my choices for icons. Now at the top, you can choose where you want to get the icons. I'm just going to go with the U station, which is MicroStation icons coming from the .rsc file. The one I want begins with the letter K for key in. So I'm going to click on one of these. Doesn't matter which one. Hit the letter K on my keyboard. That drops me down. I could have scrolled if I wanted to. Now I'm going to pick an icon. I'm just going to do this one with the green plus sign and click OK. You can see now it appears there. I'm going to apply my changes by clicking the apply button. Give it a moment to test it out. I'm going to click in the view, hit my space bar. There's my icon that I added there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. You're going to see it puts me in the play smart line command and it also changes all my attributes. And now I'm drawing a red line that is a color of three or red style zero weight of two. And it's that simple. Now, if I hit the space bar, there's a custom icon that I have here that will open up the Windows File Explorer, take me to the drive folder and highlight the file that I have open at this moment. So I'm going to show you that key in. I'm going to go back here. I'm down to this row right here. Scroll on down. There it is. Let's expand this out. Take a look at the actual key in. I will also put this in the description down below. So there's just a key in that if you run it, will actually open up Windows File Explorer, take you to the drive, take you to the folder, highlight the file you have open. I hope this improves your productivity. Thanks for watching. 
If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.